Look at this view. We found a beach and not just any beach. I'm sorted. I think you've just hit jackpot, Fisher. A oh, happy husband is a happy wife. Look how nice this beach is. It's game on. We're Marion and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since May 2018. We'll just see how it goes. I don't know. Whilst attempting to drive around the world in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. All British travellers abroad are advised, advised uh, to return now. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. Welcome to Turkey! Well, we've arrived at the end of the Kash Peninsula. We're very excited. As you know, over the past week or so, I've had a real problem with my back. And although it is a lot better, being in Trudy for lockdown weekends and things where I can't fully stand up, isn't doing my back the world of good. So we're very excited to be here because our friends, uh, Tony and Teresa from Hong Kong, they have a friend called Tony Summers who has invited us to stay in their villa for the duration of our stay whilst we explore Cash and the surrounding area. Which will be about 10 days. And who are we to say no to a luxury villa? Exactly. Okay, so we've just walked down the lane and I'm pretty sure this is, yeah it is, Dolphin Bay Villa. This is where we're staying. <laughs> I'm very excited. Wow, look at this view. I'm feeling a little bit excited. Let's have a look up this way. Mehava! Merhaba! <laughs> nice Hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Chris. My name is Umer. Umer, nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, Dolphin Villa. Oh. Hoş geldiniz, Dolphin Villa. I'm, I'm very, very excited. Have we just stepped into luxury? Wonderful seating area here. TV, oh, I'm looking forward to lounging here. They've got a fireplace, which is already stacked with logs. We're gonna be able to snuggle on the sofa. There you go, this is definitely gonna help my back. We've got a proper breakfast counter, dining table. It's got one of those puppy outie things. Oh, it's an electric socket. And then we've got this amazing, fully equipped kitchen. We've got a fridge, microwave, oven. Washing machine. Yes, washing machine. Dishwasher. For those of you that are into van life, you will know how precious a washing machine is. To have access to one like this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Marianne's looking very excited because- Look at this. There's more than two teacups. There's, <laughs> there's just, look, it's fully, fully equipped. Toast, toaster, coffee machine. There's just- Cupboards. Cupboards with bits. Ooh, there's a juicer and a blender. We could make some soups. And a cooker. And there's a mirror. That's something we're not used to <laughs> in the van. That's what I look like. Oh no, this That's, is bad. This I need to have a shave. So this is one of the bedrooms. This is really luxurious, isn't it? His and hers. I haven't had a bath since we left. So oh, more than a year, I haven't had a bath. And I used to have one every couple of days back home. I Did, loved wallowing in the bath. Disclaimer, he does wash and shower regularly. I have showered, <laughs> but a bath, and when you've got a bad back stretching out yeah. in the bath, Aziz, this is amazing. Yeah, Aziz did say if you can have some hot baths and stretch out. A Netflix out. movie, on the laptop, lie in the bath for an hour, 
I'm sorted. I think you've just hit jackpot, Fisher. It's amazing. Look how light and airy it is. Your back is going to be elongated on that bed. Careful. Is that nice? Yes. Is it a comfy bed? Yes. I'm a bit of a bed snob. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels nice. It's really Am I going to be able to get you back in the van after this? <sighs> wow, okay. look at the view. This is amazing. So here's bedroom number two. Oh, it's lovely. They're all so lovely. I love the, uh, the decor. And then another bathroom. This one's got a huge shower. Look at that. I'm feeling very spoiled. Very spoiled. This villa is so big, we can't possibly stay here on our own. So we've taken full advantage. We've invited a couple of our friends from Antalya Avni and Sybil are going to be joining us for the weekend. If you've been watching us for a long time, you know we backpack or do van life. So we've had lots of opportunities to stay into Airbnbs and hostels, uh, but this is definitely high end for us and uh, we are really going to enjoy this. So uh, thank you very much, Tony Summers. Tony and Teresa in Hong Kong, you rock stars. I would also like to reassure anyone that is worried that we're abandoning Trudy and that she's all alone. Quite frankly, she could do with the rest. It's going to give us a chance to get all the bedding out, give it a good shake and just give Trudy a rest too. Our friends have arrived. This is Avni and Sybil. You may remember that we met them in Antalya last year and we went out for a lunch in Konya. In yes. fact, they introduced us to Etli Ekmet. Etli Ekmet. Ah, oh, they did. <laughs> and it was very, very nice. So they're going to be hanging out with us uh, for the weekend here in the villa. And uh, Thank you. looking at that sky, I think we're in for a good sunset tonight. Ooh. Yes. We might even crack open a bottle of wine. I think it would be rude not to. <laughs> Lovely to Thank see you, you guys. Thank, Thank you for coming and spending the weekend with us. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Ah, uh, teşekkür ederim. Biz teşekkür ederiz. Nah. Yeah. We love you so much. <laughs> Being this close to the sea, normally it's not a good idea to talk about sharks. Although there's nobody around at the moment. Most people don't like sharks, but if you've been following us for a while, you know we love diving with sharks. And in fact, our favorite shark is Surfshark. We want to say a massive thank you to Surfshark for supporting us on our Around the World Drive by sponsoring today's video. For those of you that don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, it creates an encrypted tunnel which keeps you safe while you're browsing online. As travel bloggers, we have to sometimes use public Wi-Fi, be it in a hotel, a hostel, a cafe or a restaurant. And sometimes luxury villas. But there's more to Surfshark than just online security. By changing your virtual location, you unlock content that wouldn't normally be available in your area. If you're booking a flight and you want to avoid local price discrimination, you can by choosing a different virtual location when you book your flight. Surfshark is the only VPN company that allows you to use an unlimited number of devices. Surfshark have given you a very special discount. By using the link in the description below and using the code TREADTHEGLOBE, you get 
a whopping 83% discount and three months free. How much? I know, what a deal. Click the link in the description below to get started. We've just left Dolphin Bay Villa that you can see behind us and uh, there's a little shortcut because this villa um, also belongs to the same people and it's not let at the moment. So we're taking a shortcut up to the road to Trudy. Marianne is laden with washing. I had a lovely time. I've managed <laughs> to completely spring clean Trudy, get all the washing done, strip the beds, even wipe down the walls. It's been lovely. <laughs> And it's lovely to see the sun is shining again. It's always blue sky, this part of Turkey, down here in Antalya. So Marianne's been busy stripping the beds. I've even taken off the covers from the beds. Oh, amazing. So I'm gonna shake everything out again once more. We had, uh, we had a fabulous time with um, Avni and Sybil over the weekend. We thought today that we would take a little trip, a drive around the peninsula, because there's a road that goes all the way around, and then maybe pop into town, find some lunch, have a little look. Or oh, some blunch. Blunch, I'm starving. So we're heading uh, down the end of the peninsula. Cash is actually behind us. And it's not raining, we've just cleaned the windscreen because it was a bit dusty. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of building work going on, so. It's out season, close season, so all the villas are having their maintenance and work and new pathways put in, so there's a lot of dust. Yeah, you tend to see that coming down the coast of Turkey, um, down this tourist area. They tend to do the building work out of season, which is now because there's not any tourists around, especially with COVID, it's the perfect time to do all the building work. But Trudy gets a good covering of dust. <laughs> So coming round the uh, the end of the peninsula, there are quite a few different hotels. Um, it's quite steep on the sides down to the uh, down to the sea, but not much is built in the middle. It's all uh, all hugging the coast. So you can see the villas and the hotels. Look at this view, and that's the uh, that is actually Greece. That is the Greek island of Mies. It's amazing to think that it's so close lovely views up here so we can find some beaches and just coming around this corner that is cash there it's not actually that big a town We found a beach. We found a beach and not just any beach. That beach. Oh, it looks lovely. Let's go and have a little look. So this beach is on the beginning of the peninsula where we um, have got the villa. And look at those blue waters. It's literally between um, Cash Town and uh, the, just at the beginning of the main peninsula, just down from the yachts. There's nothing better for the soul than seeing the sea and hearing the waves lapping up against the rocks. For any budding geologists out there, I don't know what rock it is, but you can see all the way around the coastline, it's really jagged, pitted rocks that have been worn away uh, by the sea and creating these incredibly sharp and unfriendly rocks. Look at this, and look, look how nice this beach is. Yeah. You know, as we've said time and time again, they call it the turquoise coast for a reason. It really is. And look how blue that water is. that this beach is absolutely immaculate. I know that there are programs all around Turkey to collect rubbish and the beach cleans, but I've also noticed a sign that they're um, telling people not to put plastic here because of the turtles. 
there is a huge concentration of loggerhead turtles in this area. As you saw in Dalian, we visited one of the uh, rehab hospitals and one of the research centres. Um, so it's lovely to see that there's work constantly being done to make sure that the turtles are safe at sea. So just across the road from the beach is the yacht harbour. We're going to go and have a little look. It looks absolutely fantastically beautiful from the main road let's have a little look down here so there's actually another beach opposite the beach with uh, some cafes down here wow that water is just insane it's more of a pebbly beach this one i just want to show you guys how clear this water is but what I can't get over is the colour. The main yacht club is the, there right in front of us. The, uh, the peninsula is behind us and Cash Town is just over this hill here. It is amazing. I'd just like to say for the girls out there who have noticed my wardrobe change, living in a van, when the weather gets hot and you've got your long trousers on, you're able to get your legs out. Although, <laughs> at this point, you remember you haven't shaved them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little fish down there. Let's see if I can point to it. Right there! I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's just swimming along there. Something I haven't tried yet is paddle boards. I thought it was one board with two people on it, but it's actually individual boards, which is probably better because if one of you doesn't have great balance and falls in, you don't take the other one with you. Hey, Christopher. Yes, Marianne. It's hard to believe it's the last week of February and there's people swimming. It's obviously not that cold or they're very brave. I mean, saying that, Marianne did go swimming in Ireland in um, April, May. To a place where we don't know. And so if she, <laughs> if she can do it in Ireland, then, uh, then anybody can swim here. How amazing is this little seating area here? I think it's part of the cafe with views like that. I think this is the nicest water we've seen here, isn't it? I think it is. It's lovely because the water just drops off so you can see it going from clear turquoise to deep turquoise to real navy dark blue. So we've just headed into town, we've parked up and uh, we're going to go and see if we can find some lunch because it is definitely lunch time. Lunch time. Water! Does it work? Because that's a good way of filling up before we leave. No. It's off. Oh. That's no good. That's a tease, isn't it? No. Yeah, because we parked at the top of the hill with the villa, we can fill up at the villa and just run the bags of water up to Trudy and it would give us our exercise. But if we can find a tap by the side of the road, it will be a lot easier. It's got water in it. I was going to say, this one looks like it's going. Does it work? Yeah. Yay! It's not much power. Oh no, it's too slow. Too slow? That'll take you a week. Oh. <laughs> I love the ornamental taps though, look. Yeah, it's lovely. We've come down to um, Chinala Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. But they also do traditional Turkish stews. Now, although it's quite warm, we're trying to bring you something a little bit different. So we thought we'd find you a nice Turkish stew. So we're thinking about lamb stew. Yeah. And can we have meatballs? Meatballs. meatballs? Meatball casserole. casserole. Yeah. So although the restaurants here in Turkey are still unfortunately closed due to COVID, you can get packet service, takeout service. And around town, they actually have some seating areas which don't belong to a restaurant, which are just public. So we've actually sat on one right next to the restaurant. So we're allowed to eat here because yeah. it's just a public table, which is perfect. Good timing. Great solution, anything is possible in Turkey. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. 
amazing. That's, yeah. Look at that. Wow. I wasn't that. expecting that. Look at that bread. Oh, it's so hot. It's just come out of the wood fired oven. Oh my goodness, it's steaming hot. And then some yogurt dip and some tomato dip there. I'm going to have to try a bit of this. It looks absolutely delicious. Okay, first one. What's that like? Mm. Mm, it's got definitely got coriander, chili, probably a little bit of tomato, maybe even cucumber, which I don't like, but you can't really taste it. Delicious, absolutely delicious. I'm not sure what this is called, but I definitely have to get the recipe for this. If there's any Turkish people watching that can teach me how to make this, it's game on. And then there's a yogurt and uh, looks like dill. Is that good? Mm. Oh. oh, happy husband is a happy wife. And then we got a nice freshly squeezed orange juice. And as I'm t learning Turkish, it's only it's only good that I'm telling you, orange juice is portakal suyu. It's Marion's oh, That's very good. Am I good? You're good. I'm She's good. getting good at this Turkish thing. I'm getting good at this thing. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. Teşekkürler. Mm. So I got a pot of rice and some meatball stew taste this sauce here it's like a kofte stew that's really good it's like meatballs in a rich tomato sauce with peppers and uh, onions mushrooms herbs very very flavorsome and the stew base stews for four hours, a minimum of four hours. And then you got the same, but with lamb. I got lamb. Lovely. And another thing that's guaranteed is you've always got a friendly cat. Or two. Or two. Or, two. <laughs> or three. <laughs> Chris and I, as you know, get on really well, but I have to say there is one time that we always have a problem. And that is he tells me to wait before starting to eat so he can get the camera out. <laughs> and we always fall out. I'm like, let me eat my food. We want to share it with you, but we literally, it's being like, what time is it? I think it's half two. It brings the word blunch to a whole new it dimension. It is 21 minutes past two. It's a very late lunch. Well, that was absolutely delicious. I am very pleasantly full. <laughs> I might need to go and have a lie down. <laughs> That's it, dinner and lunch sorted. Join us on the next episode where we'll be showing you all around Cash and what there is to see in this wonderful town. What a view! Oh, you're still there! That's it, it is the end of the show. We've got this very nice villa to chill out in, so it's finished. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to make sure you come on this amazing adventure with us. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.